<clears throat> Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 25775 East Salmon River Road here in Welches, Oregon. We're located at the uh, right side of the house at the rear right corner where we have a 3-inch ABS clean-out as our point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. Here we go. This is going down the back hill side. Transitions here at only about four feet out over to six inch 30 34 PVC pipe.
Alrighty, here at 166 feet, we have reached the terminus of the line. Uh, the line's going, that's about to the base of the hillside down here. Um, I would pull records, though, just to get an exact location. At this point here, I wouldn't be able to walk around with a locator and pinpoint its exact location. So I'd uh, just get a plot map and see where it ends up terminating at in, on a map, and then uh, find out how responsibility is divvied up uh, with the easement and everything like that. We're going to let the line drain out here for a moment before reeling back. There's a, a probably about 10 or so of these little bumps throughout the line. We just went past one of them there. Um, all of them so far, they're just that. They're just bumps. I haven't seen any perforations or anything in them. Oh, pipe is still in, intact there. There are a few dings in the line, none of which are affecting any functionality issues. I just wanted to point it out. Right here at 48 feet, I pulled back beyond this. I just want to make sure there weren't any more of these kind of in a row here. Sometimes it'll be a whole section of pipe that does this. But uh, we do have a joint here that's showing some separation at the, t the top and at the bottom. This is uh, one of those where the, the pipe is actually separated, but it's really hard to tell if the fern co is, is opened up at the ground. And when you pull, push up right here close to the joint, you can see that the pieces of pipe have spread apart, but you still have a rubber fern co from uh, edge to edge there, keeping the, the joint sealed off from the ground. Uh, it, but the hard one here is looking up at the top. It's hard to tell if it's that way up there. So anyway, it's, it's one of those I do recommend repairing, um, although at this time uh, it's hard to, to say whether it's actually open to the ground. It does make the, the joint, though, more compromised and opened up to the possibility of root intrusion on a hillside like this. So that's mostly the reason why I'm recommending it be repaired. This is one of those, in, a, in a, just a regular old yard with no plants or trees or anything, um, this probably wouldn't be too big of a problem, but there's a lot of young tree growth back here, um, any which uh, a lot of those root systems would be capable of, of getting into a compromised joint. So. I do recommend a spot repair here to correct this. And I'll do my best to locate on the back hillside here. 
it's pretty uh, tough terrain here to navigate and try and do a locates, but it is down the back hillside, about roughly 50 feet from the clean out. And the joint here, the bottom area is looking like about a half inch of separation. The top is closer to an inch. All right, I was able to locate this on the back hillside here. It's still within the backyard. Uh, just, it's, it's just about before it goes through the fence line. The house is kitty corner to this one. The line kind of heads um, over towards their, uh, their house. There's a little slot between the tree and the corner of their house. If you're back here, you can kind of see that. Also, and I'll show it on camera. But anyway, down near the rear right corner of the property, I put a large white X on the ground. Um, it's at two feet two inches deep here. I do recommend a spot repair. There's there's a tree that's literally almost smack dab on top of the sewer pipe. When I was locating, uh, my locating wand um, had to touch the tree trunk in order to get on top of the signal. So it's it's quite literally on top of the line. So you you got a a tree here. I can pretty much guarantee you is the culprit of why this joint is getting separated. Uh, with a with a line that shallow with a tree right on top of it, um, you're going to have a a root intrusion in there very, very soon if it doesn't get taken care of. I do recommend that get repaired. Even if that uh, that rubber fern coat is still around the outside of that pipe joint there, you know, overlapping that joint by a couple inches, keeping it sealed off from water, um, a, a pipe joint like that with a backyard full of trees and soon to be large trees are, is very, very vulnerable to roots getting in. I, I'll bet if you wait about a year or two, you're probably going to have a huge root ball coming through that. Now, just about to reel the camera out of the line here. Aside from the uh, separated joint there, which I do, again, believe is caused by a tree on top of the line. Um, I recommend a repair there. Aside from that, though, the rest of the pipe is in good condition, has great flow, and is functioning properly at this time. I'll try and show this on camera here as best I can. So that's looking... So... It's kind of hard to make it. You can see that car driving in the background, but that corner of the house right there that we're staring at, the line goes shooting right past that, that corner between that, that green pine tree there and the corner of the neighbor's house. So right down into the rear right corner of the property here, just before the fence line, um, and there's a tree right on top of it. I put a paint marking at the trunk of the, on the trunk of the tree in case the white paint on the ground gets washed away. It's on a hillside, and there's a lot of rain right now. So, anywho... I do recommend a uh, re-scope after any repairs to ensure it was done correctly.